hey guys, your printer wish you a Merry Christmas. Actually not. So you got this Christmas lights going on and uh, this air. So what time is it? It's time for Abby. Hey guys, it's Abby. I was working on an order with the HP printer and I got this air that came up and I hadn't seen it before so I thought I'd grab the camera to start recording. Uh, I tried to turn it off with the power button on the side and the printer wouldn't turn off so I went ahead and I unplugged it from the back. Uh, I let it stay off for a couple minutes just to try to reboot itself on, on its own. But here I am, I plugged it back in and it's, it's coming back up. Um, but when it does come back up, it comes up as cartridge problem, showing that the cartridges weren't placed in there correctly. So here I just wanted to take out my ink cartridges to make sure that I had them clicked in place. So I'll go ahead and probably shut it down here and then turn it back on with my ink cartridges back in place just to make sure I have them clicked and locked down into the correct spots. And when I turn it back on, I still have a cartridge problem. So that means I'm going to want to go ahead and check that small FFC cable. Knowing that I have all my ink cartridges clicked and locked down into the correct spot um, and I'm still getting that error, I'm going to want to go ahead and look at my small FFC cable to see if any of the pins are damaged. So here I'm looking and I really don't see any uh, major damage that sticks out right away. So I'm going to go ahead and move back that gear so I can stick my uh, print head back in. And I'm just, I just kind of checked my other FFC cables and, and they didn't look too damaged either. So here I am just putting it back in and putting the springs back to hold it in place. And I'll stick my ink cartridges back into their slots. And I'm going to post a link here. If you click above, you're going to see uh, another video that I uh, show you how to take the scanner off and uh, how to remove the upper casing. So it will help you to troubleshoot. So now that I got this error again, I do know that it is my small FFC cable and that's the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and try to change. So I went ahead and I undid that side plastic piece uh, to the frame that holds in the FFC cables. There is two side tabs um, inside the frame that holds that side piece on to the frame. And so if you just push the two tabs, one at the top and one at the bottom, uh, it releases that side piece. So I took that off and then here I am uh, at the bottom of that frame uh, closest to me is where I insert the bottom of that FFC cable and then I just kind of wired it back through that side piece and through the top of that frame. And here I am just clicking that side piece back into place, putting those two tabs back into the hole and just clicking it back into place. Those FFC cables are easily get damaged. So if you have a damaged FFC cable, you can go to bchtechnology.com and uh, go to printer parts and uh, scroll all the way down to HP FFC cable. So you can see there's a there's a four pin FFC cable for HP chip reader. So make sure yours is also a four pin and uh, you want to match up the length so it will be long enough. And uh, now you can go ahead and ready to buy it. I also put a link above for your convenience. This is where I realized that the frame was getting stuck on something in the printer. And as I moved it back and forth, I really didn't want to push too hard or pull too hard. I didn't want to create any further damage or any um, further errors. So I just stepped to the side of the printer and that's when I realized what it was getting stuck on. So I needed to move that gear that's under the main board facing towards me to release the frame from getting caught on it on what is uh, under that frame holds the print head in place and stuff so that released the frame and was allowing it to move back and forth as it normally goes once I move those gears then here I am putting those FFC cables back into the print head and then I'll stick that back into the frame 
I took the FFC cables and pulled them through the frame a little bit at the bottom just to um, not have them scrunched up at the top in between that encoder um, and the top of the frame. And then there I was just putting the springs back on to hold the frame in place and sticking the ink cartridges and turning the printer on and we'll see uh, if it works this time. So here it came up for modify, which sometimes that will go away before you can even push anything. So it's just initializing the ink system. This is when I got another error, which this error usually indicates that you just don't have the large FFC cables in correctly. So I took those that out and I readjusted those and here I go, I got it working. I hope this video helps you fighting with your HP printer. Uh, please visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.